foodstuffs, sheep clothes, your sheep shoe, to any. Hello everyone, welcome to another beautiful video and welcome to Oju Olakbe Space and welcome to another beautiful vlogmas. In today's vlogmas, I just want to tell you places where you can buy your things when you visit Ibadan. Some of you might decide to like, I'm visiting Ibadan this Christmas season and okay, when I get to Ibadan, where am I going to get all this? Don't stress yourself. Don't feel worried. Don't worry. We have everything in Ibadan. So today, I'm just going to tell you places where you can buy whatever you want to buy in Ibadan. So let me start mentioning the market we have in Ibadan and what they sell at this market and where you can buy cheap foodstuffs, cheap clothes, your sheep shoe, to anything you want to buy in Ibadan. So my number one place I'm going to mention, which is the king of market. I call it king of market because... That is the real headquarter of market in Ibadan. And that is where Bodija Market. <laughs> Bodija Market, you can get anything that has to do with food stuffs. Your yam, two bag of beans, bag of gari, your bag of elubo, grounded and ungrounded, to your lafu, anything that has to do with food stuff. And they are so, so cheap. I've done that in my video. You can check it out. The prices of food stuffs in Nigeria, I actually, I went to Bodija Market and the bags, the prices of bags of food stuffs were so cheap, extremely cheap, even to Gary, to anything that has to do with food stuff you can get that so cheap then even to your normal perishable good which is some pepper some tomato some tatashe they are so so cheap you can get them they bring them direct from the farm market down to bodija market so that makes it so cheap if you're buying anything that has to do with food stuffs in ibadan you can also get food stuffs at oja iba now you'll be wondering where is Oja Iba. You might ask people and they will tell you there's no Oja Iba. There's a Oja Iba. Oja Iba is a normal Oja Oba located at Mapo, Mapo area in Ibadan. Oja Oba is not, people call it Oja Oba, but the Nap said, no, 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 no. It's no longer called Oja Oba. It was Oja Iba. People just convert it to Oja Iba. So if you're trying to get your food stuff so cheap, then you get to Oja Iba. Oja Iba. Your food stuff is so also very, very cheap. You have from your tomato to your pepper. There's a particular area you can get your pepper where you get to Oja Iba. That is, you and them are looking for where? Gorodom. At that Gorodom, they mainly sell pepper. They will call it Oja Oko. That is, it shows that that place is so cheap, it's direct from the market. So you buy your cheap tomato, your pepper, your bawa, to anything that has to do with your perishable good to your leave. In fact, I was. Passing through there, and I was the woman was like, Ah, every way do I say, Bell, a way do I Murikon. I was like, Murikon. I was trying to calculate in this Nigerian situation, like the the that is the just leave which is a way to leave is actually sold for just 20 naira. I was like, Wow, so their things are so cheap at Oja Iba. At Oja Iba, too, you can get your locust beans, yes, you can get your local palm oil that is our Yoruba palm oil. You know, we have different types of palm oil. You can get your Yoruba palm oil at Oja Iba. Then you can also get your Bokoto for those of you that like Bokoto. Hmm. You can get your Bokoto. Also, you can get your Bokoto at Bodija Market. Now, another thing about Bodija Market that I didn't mention earlier was at Bodija Market, we have two sessions. We have Bodija Market. We have one place they call Kara. That Kara is very close to Bodija. What they sell there is mainly meat. They sell cow meat, killed cow meat. You can buy from half cow meat to quarter cow meat. And it's so cheap. I'm telling you, I'm not joking. Okay, when I had my baby and I wanted to have the naming ceremony, I actually, I went there and uh, I was so surprised. It was so cheap. I was like, ah, uh -uh. so meat is so cheap like this in this Ibadan. So I bought meat there and it was so much. So I was really glad. So if you want to get your meat and this so-called bokoto, that is the cow leg. Woo! It's so cheap. Cow leg is not so expensive now. Though it was so cheap before, but now... It's, 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 it's not really too expensive, but I believe the prices, if you compare to other places, I'm telling you that the cow leg in Ibadan is much cheaper than any other place in the western part of Nigeria. Then another market we want to talk about in Ibadan is our what? Is our fruit market. So we are going to talk about a particular market, that is OJ market. OJ market is has two types 
of goods that run around in OJ market. If you are hearing OJ, don't say, ah, which OJ? We have OJ Alasho, okay. And OJ only a so sorry for that, my Yoruba. OJ only so is where they sell fruits at OJ. That is where fruits so cheap. When I say extremely cheap, I did I did that in my video. You can check out that in my what in my fruit video where it's so cheap the fruits there are extremely cheap whatever type of fruit you want to get at oj market you're going to get it and then at the back of the same oj market you're going to get your asho okay hell different type when they're talking about anything asho okay in ibadan that is the headquarter that is where you should go to in case you're coming to ibadan you're going to have a particular ceremony especially owambe party man and you need asho okay man you need asho okay to you you need beats when I mean beat, even to local beat, you get to OJ Market. They are there at OJ Market. You're going to get everything you want there. From your Asho K to your fruit. They are the same, but it's just that the Asho K is at the back. Why the fruit market is at the main road, not so far from the main road. So you can hardly notice that there's Asho K. Excuse me. You can hardly notice that there's Asho K at the back of oj market there when you get to the fruit market the another market we're going to talk about is our provision market hmm. a lot of us we go to mall we visit supermarket sometimes you just were like okay i want to get to a particular market where they sell these things yes and that is agbeni market in ibadan agbeni market in ibadan they sell anything that has to do with provision from your bath soap to your cream so anything that has to do with provision, even to your conflicts, to your Milo, to your Bon Vita, to your Cocoa Pops for your kids, you will get them. Now, another interesting thing why I like visiting that place, if you want your imported sweets. Another interesting thing about Agbeni Market is you get your imported sweets, imported biscuits, different types of wine. I mean meat. So if you're coming to Ibadan and you want to like, okay, let me just do some buying for okay for this christmas maybe you want to make your own personal amper and you want to get all these things from your wine to anything that has to do with flakes and your drinks you get to agbeni market they are so so cheap they are direct from the manufacturer and another wonderful thing is people outside the battle comes around to get these things from there as all sales price and take it to their state i can say from Igebode to Ondo, they come around to Ibadan. Other market I want to talk about is our clothes market. Yes, you know us for one thing now, and that is baggy market. When you're talking about baggy market, so any type of Ankara. <laughs> Let me not tell you what interesting about baggy market. This is in now. When you get to baggy market, I don't really know the science behind this market. Like this christmas season now you get it you'll be so surprised even they'll be calling some material six years they'll be telling you two two fifty three three hundred now and you now wonder wait where did they get these things from there are things are extremely cheap when it comes to fabrics and it also gets too expensive to wonderful lace to see different types of lace that you want to get there are that is what i'm trying to say is you can get to no that that, that is no matter how Rich in the other side, you are you can get your own price of material that are ah, you know why they shout or do you year you can get your or do you year that is this year we celebrated it together you can get the price so so low at, at a baggy market you can also get your asho kit there you can there's a part that they sell asho kit there's a part that they sell um guinea material just mainly guinea material you're going to get it so that is for baggy market and that baggy market we have two type of baggy market they can tell you one is baggy tun -tun and old baggy it was actually it was old baggy that one was very close to Ogupa market they now move them down to the new baggy market which is not too far from the Ipadon airport but you'll be wondering, so we have airports in Ibadan. Yes, we have airports in Ibadan. Don't worry, one day I'm going to take care around to our airport here in Ibadan. So that baggy market, they sell clothes. The one, the old baggy market, they still sell clothes. Then you can also get clothes for your children, for men, for ladies, any type of dress 
chet suit that you want you get it at ogunpa market it's just that ogunpa market prices their yeah, things are so cheap when i'm so saying cheap i'm not just saying it in terms of okay i just want to like make you feel so rich you know things there are cheap but the only secret about that market is you have to get to know somebody that can take you through that market because there are areas in that market that they sell in oc so when you are able to when there are parts that they sell in oc so when you're able to locate where they sell in oc do you know you, you are going to get a very cheap price of whatever clothes or what about shoe trousers you want to get for your children you're going to get it also you can also visit alessi lawyer market for your clothes market alessi lawyer sells imported clothes material anything that has to do with italy us london they get their clothes from there so some people will tell you oh their prices they're so expensive than the one at Ogunpa, so they will prefer to go to Ogunpa. but some people tell you no 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 don't patronize Ogunpa because their things are so cheap and they are local so i i, I patronize a lesson lawyer but whatever you are whatever your pulse i'm telling you when you get to ibadan your pots, your pots will always have something so good to bring to your doorstep. Other markets I want to talk about today, you need kitchen utensils. Don't search no more. You can get it at Dube Alao. Dube Alao is at Dube, not far from the Coco House. So you just tell them you are going to Dube Alao. Dube Alao, you can get your kitchen utensils from your cooking pot, kitchenware, cooking where you can get anything at Dubia Alao. Then when you now also come to your, when you need souvenirs for your party, you can get it at Dubia Alao. But if you really want to get varieties of souvenirs, then you go to Aleshi Lawyer Market. Wow. When you get to Aleshi Lawyer Market that you need anything that has to do with souvenirs, you will get it. They have it in abundance. Ah, ah. You will select and you'll be tired and you'll be wondering, is this Ibadan? So we have lot and lot of markets with cheap prices of their good here. We have markets in Ibadan here where you can actually get whatever you want as you visit Ibadan this season. I hope you're going to come around to Ibadan. If you're just moving down to Ibadan, I really need a place you can, whatever you want to buy or the market you want to get a particular thing and you want it so cheap, then you can contact me. Just put it in the comment section and say, oh, you like pay space? I want to get this particular thing in Ibadan. Where can I get it? I'm sure I'm going to reply because I live here in Ibadan. <laughs> and so I can tell you, I'll pinpoint point markets that you can get your things so, so cheap. And you can also find your way around. And I hope this video has been so helpful to find your markets where you can buy your things as you visit Ibadan this season. You're not going to search so you're not going to be sweating to get whatever you want. There's another market I want to talk about and that is Ojo Market. Ojo Market is not so far from Iwo Road Market. This is market that has to do with just pure Igbo recipe. And if you're an Igbo person, you're living in Ibadan or you're an Igbo, you're trying to move to Ibadan and you need where they sell Igbo recipe. I'm telling you anything to any type of leaf, to ususa, to your crayfish, to your dry fish, Igbo dry fish, to your Igbo palm oil, to your ogbolo, you are going to get everything at Ojo Market. So, any this is what usually happen when they are moving down from the east down to the west here. When they get to Ibado, they usually stop at Ojo. So, at that Ojo, that is where they drop any goods that is coming from the east and drop it for us in Ibado. For those of Igbo people that are living in Ibado, so that they will not be what's missing their food so you can get anything that you want if you're an Igbo person or you like Igbo palm oil and you are looking for where to get the genuine one then you visit or job market you can get it at or job market so if you're an Igbo person you, whatever you want to buy is fully available then if you're an Awusa person we have Sabo Sabo is not far from Mokola. When you get to Mokola, tell them you are going to Sabo at Sabo there are a lot of Awusa women that are selling this recipe Awusa recipe, you can always get whatever you want. If you're an Awusa person, you can always get it at any time. So you can see that coming to Ibadan this season or visiting Ibadan or moving down to Ibadan is a very, very lovely journey you're going to make because everything that you want, anything that you need, you have it in excess and we have everything you want 
in Ibadan. You have to find your way around when you visit Ibadan. Just call on Ojo Olakpe Space. I'm sure I'm ready to what? Take you around to wherever or whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I say don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Till I see my next video. Bye and take care of yourself. I love you. Mwah.